Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to the Restoration Couple. Today we're making a start on the first of our green oak frames. So uh, stick around, see how we get on. Right now it's time to open some of the latest arrivals to the toolbox. So if I can get away with it I'm going to use one chisel for the majority of the stuff and that chisel is uh, an inch and a half which is kind of the most common size I've led to believe and that's um, none of my mortises are much bigger than that yet yeah, it's still wide enough to use to clean up you know the side of tenons and shoulders. There it is. They come a lot more expensive than this one, but I have no doubt that this will do the job for me. And I'm sure it's sharp enough for today, but we will give it a bit of a fine tune later. Yep, it's sharp enough. <laughs> That's just gonna have so much more weight to it that hopefully we're gonna be able to work a little bit faster. Now I can't put my wooden mallet anywhere, so I'm gonna have to manage with Either that rubber one, or I've got a slightly heavier shot filled. But I think the other one should be fine. Alright, let's see what this thing does.
Well, I don't think I could have picked a hotter day to uh, to give it a go. I've got this old gazebo up, but it's uh, not going to last too long. Um, anyway, we've managed to make a start and all I've managed to get done really, apart from sorting the timbers and working out what's what, making marks on them, uh, then I've, all I've done is these three tenons and it took me about probably a best part of an hour to work out best way and sizing and things like that for the first one and then I was down to about 10-15 minutes for this one so I'm sure this is just going to be a learning process all the way along. Uh, the tenons are sized so they're a quarter of the dimension of the, the post or the beam. Um, so I'm kind of I've switched back to Imperial because timber framing doesn't seem to have caught up with the metric system. So uh, keep it simple. They've gone for it. Oh, we've gone for an inch and a half for the tenons. Anyway, we're going to be moving on to the mortises next. I've got two more posts to do like this. That's all of our uprights. And uh, I tell you what, let's I'll switch to a little screen grab of the the design now. You can see it's a five-sided, a uh, five-posted gazebo. Uh, it probably won't have a roof to start with, but it has got rafters. So basically you've got those and then there'll be a curved beam or an angled beam that will follow the contour of the patio that's underneath it. It's quite good fun, pretty primitive stuff. Saw hands, which is a good sign of a day's work. Um, the framing chisel, I mean it just made so much difference. I've done a little bit of framing before just with standard length t uh, chisels. But this just, it's about three times the weight of, of what you'd be used to and it's just so much nicer. And even just slicing off the end grain, uh, it works really well. So I'm gonna make sure I keep a good edge on that and I'll probably give it a sharpen each time I finish so it's ready to go the next time. When it comes to the angle braces and the curved brackets and things like that, it might get a bit more tricky. But for now, marking up's been okay. Thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed, you can do so down below. Give us a thumbs up if you keen on watching these sort of style videos. That's it. Thanks for watching. Remember, if you can, do it yourself and we'll see you next time.